conference basketball game as the St. Louis Park Orioles are the home team they take on the Chisago Lake Wildcats. Andres Hoburn joined today with, by Phil Furk again for another night of basketball as the St. Louis Park Orioles, uh, as we mentioned, 6-18 and 18 this season, closing their season against uh, Chisago Lakes, a uh, team that's 9-16. and 16. And Phil, uh, senior night for the St. Louis Park Orioles and uh, two seniors tonight, uh, Tony Keller and Phil Gauthier. Well, that's uh, usually quite emotional, for, especially for the seniors because they've... Uh, you know, worked hard, spent their uh, uh, summers and winters and you name it uh, for the last four or five years, probably from the time they were in fifth grade, uh, preparing for this. And now all of a sudden reality hits. It's the last ball game for them and the last game they'll play on the St. Louis Park home floor. Starting lineups for the St. Louis Park Orioles will be number three, Aaron Zeman, number 23, Phil Gauthier, Alex Cook, number 33, Tony Keller, number 35, and... DeMonte Baker, the freshman, number 53. For Chisago Lakes, they'll go with Cole Johnson, number 3, number 15, Quinn Collins, number 35, Henry Fitzpatrick. The leading scorer, number 41, averaging 24 points per game, Josh Pagini, a 6'9 senior. And closing out the roster, number 53, Benji Pagini, a 6'6 sophomore. Michael Cade is the head coach of the St. Louis Park Orioles. Herb Jangor is the head coach of Chisago Lakes. Phil uh, had a chance to watch Chisago Lakes uh, Tuesday night against Cooper, and uh, Cooper winning by about 40 points in that game. But uh, Chisago Lakes, the last time they played St. Louis Park, beat the Orioles by 10, so this should be a good game, I think. Well, both teams have pretty much identical records, and uh, uh, as you say, I think they match up very evenly tonight. And again, DeMonte Baker has another tough matchup as he's got to take on a six foot nine player inside. First shot of the game rolls out and the rebound taken by the Orioles. Cook, no one on him, takes the three, misses. Baker, nice rebound, put it up, was just underneath the rim. Too far. And the basket. Josh looked like a point guard bringing the ball down the floor that time. Looked good, good in the open court. Nice pass inside. Baker has the foul. Baker's had two opportunities close to the basket tonight. If uh, the second time, if he would have just collected himself, took a little time, let the defense go, and uh, uh, you know, head shoulder fake, I think he would have been better opportunity for him. So what's interesting too is other teams usually take it right away to Demonte Baker. This time, the strategy may be a little bit different is let Demonte Baker take it to the other team, see if they can get their center in foul trouble. I think that's a good strategy, especially with a team like Chisago, who's uh, much larger. Demonte misses both free throws, so it's still 2-0 in favor of Chisago Lakes. Nice pass. And the basket by Benji Fagini. He made that look too easy. Double team and Grotte had his foot on the line, so it's going to be turnover by the St. Louis Park Orioles. Again, this typically wouldn't be your starting lineup in the game with uh, the couple seniors, but uh, getting a chance to start, we'll see how long uh, Coach Cade will uh, keep this lineup on the floor. We're going to reach in foul. It's going to be called against number 35, Henry Fitzpatrick. That's his first. Second team foul. Especially these games at uh, special last game of the season when the seniors are starting. It does make it a little more difficult to get the flow and everything because it's a different lineup than they've had all year. So it's usually uh, a little harder. Laurel's on board on the basket by Zeman. Baker. Picks up the foul that time. Baker was behind the player the whole time. Never really got in good position. Oh, that uh, Benji did a really nice job taking the ball to the basket. He saw the opening, did the crossover dribble, and then got fouled. One of the problems, of course, that um, DeMonte Baker has had this year is getting an early foul trouble. And once again, he collected that first one. 
Orioles don't have a lot of height to go up against the six foot nine player, so you know, for the Orioles they'd love to see DeMonte stay in this game. Cook drives in, dishes out. Gauthier has Cook wide open. That's sort of the play the Orioles like. They had Cook wide open. If they could have passed it out, an outlet pass to Cook, I think he could have been able to nail that three. But in turn, another foul. And this is number two on Fagini, Bench Fagini. So uh, he's going to probably take a seat on the bench as Gauthier makes the free throw. Jake Workle in the game now, number 43 for Chisago Lakes. I think Parks, Parks' ability to run the floor might be their advantage tonight. Especially the way they're able to get the ball in transition and go to the basket and force the Chicago to, to uh, commit easy fouls. So they corrected that last foul. They gave it to number 35, Henry Fitzpatrick, which is his second foul. So uh, Vigini's out of the game, but they may want to make another change here soon. That was a beautiful backdoor cut by uh, Vigini, number 43. I'm sorry, that was Workle. Both teams are playing man-to-man uh, -man defense early in the game. We'll see uh, how that develops as the time goes. But both teams to be very, pretty aggressive. So the Orioles have uh, had some stretches where they played real well, but the last couple games they've uh, struggled a little bit. Yeah, I think um, you know if seasons are funny. Uh, you can have so you know a stretch of four or five good games, and the same thing can happen when you just don't uh, don't have it. Cook that time was guarded heavily and uh, put up that shot off the rim. But if you're going to be on a streak, you want to have it at the end of the season, like, like right now. Quinn Collins is a good shooter. I had a chance to watch him against Cooper. He was probably one of their best players on the floor. Well, St. Louis Park, St. Louis Park is going to take a 30-second timeout, trailing 10 to 4. Well, Park doesn't want to fall too far behind here early in the game. Uh, it's really difficult for them to catch up. But if they can uh, control the tempo, that's what they're going to try to do. And once again, when you have a different lineup, uh, they're not used to playing with each other. They don't have that same feel. Uh, it's just uh, one of those things that happen. But uh, seniors deserve to play at the end of the year, you know, especially their last game. Mike Sokol uh, comes into the game along with Zach Brad. Do you watch for number 13, Phil? He's another good shooter here. There's even not much arch on that shot. It's sort of a flat. Like Baker got a, might have been, uh, had a fall on that last play. It didn't fall. Look how fast we get down the court and a dunk. By Josh Pagini. That was a great transition basket, Athea. Mark is going to have to get back on defense. This Chicago team can run the floor too, very well. Well, Chicago Lakes picking up their fourth team foul here. Just uh, still 14 and a half minutes to go. 12-4 in favor of Chicago Lakes. I'd like to see if they can set up a play to get Zeman to penetrate to the basket. Well, Cook saw Baker, but he just couldn't get the ball. It was a very slight window of opportunity there, and he missed it. Well, you can see the